Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a product spotlight and a product review uh, right here on the channel. So our good friends over at X Vive sent us over the U3 dynamic wireless microphone system and we are going to give our honest opinion. We are not paid. This is not a sponsored video. They said simply do an unboxing and give us your honest opinion of what you think about this system. So we're going to unbox this and then tomorrow at our wedding, we're gonna actually use this in real time. And we're gonna see what kind of uh, consistency we get, if we get any latency, if we get any dropouts with this. So this is excellent guys. So this would be a great backup system for you. Um, not only to have a microphone, a backup microphone that you could plug this in and make it wireless, but also what we are gonna use it for tomorrow is to remote, remotely throw sound to a speaker out on the patio. The venue that we'll be at tomorrow, Willowin Barn in Santa Fe, Texas, um, they have a great patio with games, they have a shot donkey out there, they have a fire pit, uh, they have uh, couches like a pleather, um, not pleather, what am I thinking about, like velvet couches out there. So it's real nice, especially when it's colder here, they have the fire pit going, people love to go out there, smoke cigars. There will actually be a cigar bar there tomorrow but I'm gonna have the um, Everse 8 out there and I'm gonna be utilizing zone control so that no matter what I'm doing in the room, how loud it gets, I can set that volume out there and we're gonna be using this. So the patio is probably gonna be, I wanna say about 30 to 35 feet from me, but we're talking about through a wall, through glass doors and everything. Now I will tell you, this system runs on the 2.4 gigahertz uh, system. So. Um, as you know, everything in this world operates off of 2.4 gigahertz, especially um, Wi-Fi modems. And this venue has a very strong Wi-Fi modem and that runs off of 2.4. Um, they claim to get uh, five hours of runtime on this and less than five milliseconds of latency, which really doesn't matter because people on the patio are not gonna be exactly hearing what goes on inside. But if I make an announcement, I want people to be able to hear what's going on on the patio. So let me just read you a few things off of the back of this box. Um, actually, you can run six of these units at one time, five hours of battery life, as mentioned, and you can use this uh, with XLR dynamic microphones and battery powered condenser microphones as well. Um, and as mentioned, what I'm gonna be using it for is for the wireless audio system for active loudspeakers. That's gonna be my go-to um, tomorrow. Now, the working range on this they say is up to 90 feet. It's not stated on here, but we all know that that's a line of sight. Um, so we're gonna test it. We're gonna put it through some walls. We're gonna put it through some doors uh, with glass and we're gonna see um, if we get any dropouts. So let's do an unboxing and let's see what it looks like. After that, we're gonna go to the wedding and then we'll come back and we'll give you our final take on it. All right guys, so here's the box as you saw in the uh, intro video, right? So it comes in a nice box, um, feels very heavy, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what exactly you get inside. So it's got some very nice packaging. The branding uh, obviously is done very well. Not only is all the information on the outside of the box, but you get your serial number and everything right here on the main box. So as mentioned, um, it is called the U3 microphone wireless system. So let's go ahead and take this top off of the box. And as you can see, there it is. So very nice packaging, um, custom mold cuts for the units themselves. So you get a receiver uh, and you get a transmitter. So um, even those are nicely packaged right there. And I'm assuming everything else is underneath this foam, but these things got some great weight to them right now, guys. I will tell you that. Uh, so I'm gonna take these out of the plastic and just see what we're dealing with. Of course, it's got that electrostatic stuff going on. These guys were just at NAMM. So um, I saw a lot of their videos. They had a great setup at NAMM. Um, so the, the units themselves feel feel like they are just very well built. Um, you've got all your approvals right here on the side. Like I said, you don't have to worry about frequency or anything. These are in the 2.5, uh, 2.4, sorry, gigahertz range. So right here, you will see that they do have, um, they do have the option for you to go between mic and line. 
And then of course on this side, you got um, your power and your mute button. So that's also very good. Like if you don't want to hear what's going on in the other room, or if your microphone does not come with an on off switch or mute button, you can definitely mute that. And then on both of them here, they do have the channel selector. So we'll get to that in a little bit, but let's go ahead and find out what exactly is in the rest of this box. Take the foam out, very nice. You got your, uh, wow, look at this. So they give you a dual Y cable charger, so I love that. You don't have to utilize two bricks um, to charge these things, it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo this. And that's exactly what that is, guys. Look at that, I love this. Now it does utilize the old um, micro USB, but who cares, right? You're getting one charger cord, which is awesome. They do not supply a brick with it. Um, they give you a little warranty card, so I do recommend that you register that. Uh, and then inside here uh, looks like a product spotlight of some of the other stuff that they have, um, how to use it, um, lavalier microphones, etc. And then of course here is the um, user manual. So a bunch of things here um, to look at. I've kind of already researched this online, so I kind of know what to expect from this. Quick start guide, basic operation of the U3 transmitter and receiver. Um, like I said, I looked at all this online, the dimensions, the weight, the housing, what it's made out of molded plastic and cast metal, which I told you it has a very great weight to it. And this is what I'm impressed with. A very nice branded carrying bag with drawstrings so that they don't come out. So I absolutely love this. I'm gonna put this to the side real quick. Um, so yeah, both of them, I don't know how much charge these have, because like I said, we just did an unboxing, so we're gonna power this one on, and you'll see these lights come on immediately. I'm gonna power this one on, and we got a green light there. So, obviously, um, the green light here means that we're good to go. And then as you can see here, there is, this one's on channel one, and this one's on channel one as well. So if you select the channel, let's see. Channel two, you always wanna make sure that you are on the exact same channel. Okay, so yeah, you hold it down for like two seconds and then you select your channel. I actually like that option because this way you're not accidentally switching channels on one or the other. So um, yeah, this housing is very good, guys. I could tell you right now. And I'm guessing this, um, being that this is the transmitter, this is a bit of an antenna is what I guess. And then you got your two USB micro um, slots. Am I passing that up? Where am I at? Oh, right here on both sides. So yeah, you could definitely charge these up at the same time. So it does tell you which one is which, the transmitter and the receiver. Um, very great quality build. Got the O-ring right there. Um, so how I'm gonna use this is I'm actually gonna use an XLR extender, which is gonna be like two or three pieces just to get it up a little higher off of my board, maybe extend the range a little bit. I'm not sure if that really works or not, but it looks like this has some charge to it. So like I said, five hours of runtime, most receptions run for about four hours. Okay, so you're gonna get plenty of time. Now, I, I did read up on this. It does depend on how loud you are pumping the volume. So keep that in mind. The louder you go, the more power you're gonna use and the battery may die quicker. So um, we're gonna test it out tomorrow and see how great this works. We're gonna try it on, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on channel one. I'm gonna try it on channel one tomorrow just to see if I get any interference whatsoever. Now keep in mind guys, I'm gonna be setting this up when I first get there. So there's not gonna be any bodies in the room. So that's something to think about. Um, how much interference, how much blockage you're gonna get from where you have your transmitter to where the receiver is, including doors, walls, windows, and then of course bodies from people. So think about that. All right guys, so we're utilizing the X5 U3 system that they sent over to us. Just to kind of recap, um, this is it plugged into the Synth L on the mixer right here. So the receiver, we've already paired them. 
and the receiver we're going to plug into the back of the Everse 8. I'm going to turn it on and make sure that I'm online. Okay, so I'm on speech. I'm going to put it on line input. Okay, so we're getting it. Okay, so we got the main system playing. connected with the X5 uh, U3 system and we're getting perfect sound so we're going to put this out on the patio for the guests out there. Alright guys so we're only about I want to say 20 feet from the system and we're getting some interference so I'm going to change the channels to see if that happens. Alright so we switched it to channel 2 and it looks like we're getting no interference now so it's just a matter of finding that right channel. All right, guys, so there you have it. Let's recap on the X5 U3 wireless XLR uh, transmitter and receiver. So this thing worked flawlessly at my gig. Now, we did have one hiccup at the beginning of cocktail hour. Um, we, we put it on our mixer and we kind of, you know, looked for the best uh, volume to set it up. Now, we do run this on... Um, a control room output right so that we can independently control that uh, the volume out to the patio so uh, when we hooked it up and we synced it and everything we plugged it into the speaker we got some interference but we were on channel one we were going to try channel one first just to see so with that interference and dropout we changed it to channel two and it worked flawless i turned the volume up it came through crystal clear um, and for the rest of the night now on the back of this thing it does say that you can use up to six units at one time and the battery lasts up to five hours. Now I will tell you this, with cocktail hour and the four hour reception, it lasted flawlessly. I could probably still go a little longer. I wasn't even getting a battery indicator, so it actually was gonna go longer than five hours. So um, just an excellent product from X5. Now they were at NAM 2024 this year. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to go, but I saw their booth they had a ton of stuff. They got a lot of new things in the works coming out. So we appreciate X5 sending this out to us um, to review for the channel. In a real live demo, guys, this thing was flawless. So I highly recommend it. Now from the mixer to where the speaker was on the patio was probably about 40 feet, 45 feet. Um, but it did have to go through walls, doors, and glass. So um, it worked perfectly now just to keep a recap from the beginning of the video this does run on the 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless system so you have to remember if you're in a venue that's running a ton of wireless or if you're running with a band that's also running wireless you may get some interference so you might have to scan a few times the good thing is is this thing has uh, six available channels so that you could scan um, or go not really scan I should say you could just change channels um, to see which one is the best for you now there is a mic and a line switch on um, the transmitter unit, so just be aware of that, right? So you don't wanna come in hot if you're running on a mic and trying to transmit on a line. Also, one thing, they do give you a nice little bag to carry this in. I wish they gave you a case. Um, the only flaw that I saw in this system is if you're throwing this in a bag, like I throw this in my wire bag, it's so easy for that power switch to turn on. Um, I did notice that when I threw it in the bag initially, I took it out just to check it again and it was on. So, you know, just the rustling of the bag, movement of wires and stuff like that. One of the wires hit the power switch and it was on. So that can kind of be a downfall. If you charge it up the night before, you throw it in your bag, you go to your gig, you get there and it was on, then your battery life is kind of already depleted. So luckily I caught that, I charged it fully up again and then I threw it in a safer portion of my DJ backpack and it didn't come on. So that's the only flaw I could see. Um, other than that, it's a solid built unit. Um, it performed perfectly. I'm gonna throw a link down in the description where you can pick up yours and try it out. Um, 
I don't know if I would ever run up to six units at one time just for me. I'm a wedding DJ. I usually just throw sound to another room, like a cocktail hour room or something like that. So um, maybe I will get another unit and try it out just to see how it works. But other than that, once again, thanks to X5 for sending this out for the review. It worked perfectly. I highly recommend this product for bands, for DJs, for karaoke. If you're doing karaoke, maybe you want to throw sound to another room. It works perfect. Stay tuned, guys. We're doing a lot more reviews coming up. I've got another video coming out on the Everse 8 and what happened with Electro Voice on that. So, um, as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, we would love a subscription to the channel. It helps us out a lot. Drop us a comment if you're using the X5 U3 system, um, how you've, what your experience has been with it. So, until next time, we'll see you then.